Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sasha Haddad, also known as Once Upon a Doctor. Last spoke, I did something really big. You probably haven't noticed yet, but if you look very close enough, you might spot the difference. If you're thinking about the brown spot in my eye, you're on the right track. I'm going to take you with me on my journey and show you how I got it removed. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Haddad, also known as Once Upon a Doctor, and we're here today with one of the most incredible physicians and person that I know. This is going to be Dr. Brian Boxer Walker, and I'm going to have him introduce himself today for us. Well, as you heard, I'm Brian Boxer Walker, mm -hmm. and <laughs> I'm an ophthalmologist, which means I'm an eye surgeon, and that's my specialty. So I treat different parts of the eyes that have different diseases or afflictions and even do vision correction procedures such as LASIK, ICL, keratoconus treatments for people that need vision improvement where their cornea is degenerating and causing a lot of vision problems among a host of other things that we treat. And you're probably wondering why us two are here together and the answer is we're I'm wearing blue scrubs. <laughs> we are. How did you know? The reason is because I'm doing this we're actually doing this for you. A lot of you have been asking me for quite a while what is that in your eye and right here folks right here and so I decided, you know what, let's get the specialists in the field to tell you and tell me what is it in my eye. That being said, let me tell you a little bit about my journey. I basically have this brown spot in my eye. I've grown up with it. I've never noticed it growing up because it was always there. Nothing has really been any different. And then lately, when I became a content creator, a lot of you have noticed it, you picked it up. And mostly my close family and friends, they started to ask me, hey, I think we're noticing it change. It's becoming more noticeable to them, more visible to them. Usually I'm the type of person that tells people be confident, be yourself, embrace your flaws, embrace your body. But I think the doctor part of me came out because I usually tell you every single person should know their body best. And when you find something that is now changing, it's becoming more noticeable to others, ask yourself what's different. And that's when it kicked in. And I was like, hmm, something must be changing, whether it's the color, whether it's the size, but it draw enough attention for me to send this guy a picture of my eyeball. And I'm like, hey, should I be concerned? What is this? What should I do about it? And then I'm gonna ask you, what did we do then? <laughs> what did we do? Well, let's just talk of why this even can develop. Mm. So when people for many years, and usually it's like, okay, guilty of not wearing mm. sunglasses when right. you're younger, even starting as a little kid, then you get that sun exposure and people who have darker skin mm. have more melanin in their DNA in the whole body, not just the skin, mm. including this white part of the eye. So that sun exposure eventually starts to increase people getting these pigment patches or freckles and that's what's developing. Unlike a tan, which can fade when you're out of the sun for a while, these spots really persist once they develop, mm. unless something is done about it, which is why we're talking. Exactly. And so so he told me, hey, come in and let me check your eye. And that's exactly what we did. So I came in, I actually told you you had a beautiful office. It's uh, one of the most incredibly put together, aesthetically designed, but really you had some incredible fancy tools that I've never seen before. And what did you do for me at that time? What did we check? Well, we first of all checked the whole health of the eye. Mm. So we wanted to make sure that the eye is totally healthy. There's nothing going on that's concerning. Everything is perfect, mm. except you've got this dark spot or a big freckle on the white mm -hmm. of the eye from sun exposure. And so we talked about what we can do about that. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that it is actually removable. And a lot of eye doctors, unfortunately, still aren't aware that this technology exists. We've been mm. doing this for probably over 15 years now. Yeah. And so they still tell patients, you probably were told yourself, yes, like, yeah. well, in your words, what the other eye doctors I'll tell you. you in my words, uh, even what I would tell my own patients is if it's in your eye and it's not bothering you, it's not changing, don't touch it because you don't want to touch your eye. Um, and I think that was the biggest taboo thing that has ever been told is don't do anything about it. Don't touch it because it's your eyeball. And that was a taboo topic of your vision. And I think maybe it's just like this vulnerable organ that people don't want to necessarily touch or do anything with. That changed when I met you. <laughs> yeah, and the reality is that, you know, for a number of people, they feel very self-conscious about it. Yes. Right? So technically it's it's not a disease, mm. but it does make people feel self-conscious and they get a lot of questions. It's just usually not a good situation after a while. And so for years we had developed a procedure called wider eyes conjunctivoplasty or just in short wider eyes the wider mm. eyes procedure where what we're doing is we remove in about literally under 
probably in this case, in yours, under 10 minutes. I'm going to set a timer. We're going to see if it's <laughs> actually going to be 10 minutes. Yeah, who's going to win? The egg who's boiling win? <laughs> or us with that timer? So, but it's it's a quick procedure. It's painless. We use numbing gel. If you're nervous, we have mm. Valium, but it literally, it's easier than going to the dentist, get your teeth cleaned. Talk about the dentist, and, that's a different topic. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically we just remove that surface yes. pigment and it's gonna, the new tissue on the surface grows back in about two weeks. So it's gonna be a little red mm. for about two weeks, but that pigment you'll see once we're done will be gone. It's gonna just, be pretty life-changing, I think, for you. And I think I'm very excited. Definitely not gonna lie. I'm a little bit anxious because I myself, I'm not the best patient. I'm not used to being under any type of procedure, but I'm relieved to know that it sounds like it's a pretty minor procedure, you would say. Oh, very From minor. what I understand, very, very minor. minor. Yeah, very now, minor. what would you think if, let's say, I didn't touch it? Is there any risk that this could develop into something different? So there's about a, speaking. yes, that's mm -hmm. a really good point. There's about a 10 to 20% chance over many years that this can transform into melanoma. And melanoma could be a life-threatening disease. It can go mm -hmm. to other parts of the body, metastasize, as we call it. So there's a small chance over time that had this not been treated, yes. it could actually transform into melanoma. Yes, at least for me, when I came in, it wasn't necessarily the, the cosmetic part, but it's also knowing that to protect myself from that any chance, even a 1% chance for me, I would take that. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've seen a lot of patients have lesions or pigmentations that go unchecked and eventually they transform and change. And the minute you you mentioned anything about a melanoma or even a chance or 1% chance, that was, I think, the reassurance I needed to motivate myself to make the decision that yes, I am ready and I'm gonna overcome the fear of being under procedure. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen after. And the other thing too, to help mm. reassure you, which I, I think I did when we talked yeah. about it, is that We've literally, from a safety point of view, we've had nobody ever get an infection, mm -hmm. lose vision, um, anything like that. So it's just an incredibly safe procedure. No cap for this one. <laughs> Indeed, no, <laughs> no cap. cap. No cap for Zero this one. Caps over there. <laughs> He'll show you them later. Um, he did draw me in with a chocolate eyeball style. Uh, that's right. how I got sold, basically. <laughs> we're gonna drag you onto this journey and we're gonna show you, I'm gonna take you with me into the procedure room. We're gonna show you what's gonna happen and I guess we'll see what goes. Are you ready for this one? Let's do it. Alrighty, let's do it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so definitely make sure you follow the eye yeah. drop instructions. Yeah. Very important. Okay. Yeah. The rest of the stuff, I'm gonna probably negotiate with you. Like what? <laughs> like a, a workout. A uh, shower. You don't want to get direct water in the eye. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've never had an infection knock on wood, but, um, yeah. you know, like water's not sterile. So yeah. like you're I agree in the with shower, you. Have your back towards the shower. Have what if I boil the water and then, you know, back in the old days? No, you don't. You don't preach. Okay, I want to. She's a negotiator. I'm a negotiator. I'm trying to find loops in the system. Okay. I tried. You know, in retrospect, I Can wish y'all knocked me out. Tiny bit. Perfect. Right Can I be under general anesthesia? Taking the volume. <laughs> I um. You think so? Okay, I trust you. You you've done it a lot more than me. Okay, you're right. So I'm just gonna be fine. I'm not used to eye drops, can you tell? In case of an emergency, call that. What are you doing there, Safka? Terrified. Oh, well, because you didn't take the Valium. I know, I should have listened to you. That's why I we got to the Valium. I know. I should have been smarter about it. Valium or a shot of whiskey. Would you have allowed me to do the shot of whiskey? Okay, this is going to be really pretty. I'm gonna have you open your eyes. Both? See, like a little, uh -huh. <laughs> see, like a little green, red, green light up there. Oh, yeah. So that's good to stay focused on. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of 
bit of tape to hold your eyelids for you. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is use a little bit of um, tape here to hold your eyelids, okay? okay? Just holding those nice lashes out of the way. And then I'm gonna use a little spring as well. You just feel like a little pressure again. It won't hurt at all. This will be totally okay. painless. 100% painless. I feel like you're the first person to stare into my soul. <laughs> it's all good. Everything I see is good inside. Thank God. See that spot there? Uh, the light? Yeah, I'm just showing him. I just see the yellow light. And this is the numbing. Harder, this one or a Lasix? You're in gray. BSS, sir. BSS. Hello. A little. Just a little sensation. Yeah. A little. No pain, right? No, just. Ow. Oh, a little weird. Ah. A little weird. A little weird. I. That was weird. Oh, Going weird. perfect. Oh, weird. And just like that, we're done. Yay. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, still terrified. <laughs> You can close, yeah. I'm gonna have you open for a moment. I'm gonna have you looking down. Uh -huh. Great. I'm trying to tell if I'm looking down or if I closed. I'm gonna have you looking down for a moment. Okay. I'm gonna give you like a little, it's a little plug that helps with lubrication. And it's like a dissolving plug. Okay. Just put it in a little tear duct area. Dry in. Well, that's why the flax oil capsules are going to be really helpful for that, too. Can I just do that for a minute? You know, you can see, I mean, after, you know, you go through the, the capsules, if you're like, wow, I really feel better on them, yeah. you, you can continue. Is it good for, like, eye health in general? It's, it's good for lubrication. Okay. And also, like, for dry skin. Yeah. Or, like, for eczema, even. So if you were to say just like the sunscreen is the holy grail and retinol is the holy grail for skin, what would you say is your holy grail? For the eyes? Yeah. Absolutely sunglasses. Sunglasses? Yeah. Lubrication? No lubrication. Well, sunglasses prevent so much stuff going on, like with the eyes, you know? So for me, just prevention with sunglasses is just such a huge investment and it's so simple. Yeah. Um, because there's so many issues we see over the years. I mean, the brown spot that you have was one of them, but people can get cataracts, they can get um, blood vessels growing on the whites of the eyes, yeah. yellow spots, pinguiculi, pterygium, macular degeneration. I mean, the list just goes on and on from the sun. So that's why sunglasses, that's really where an ounce of prevention is You're worth. You're up the trend. The sunglasses that you have trending are already in the market now. I told you the original creator. The one that looks around though? Yeah. That's well, you can open your eyes. We are all done. I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared to open your eyes? I'm scared to open my eyes. I want to close them. I feel safe when I close my eyes. <laughs> no, I'm going to help you sit up here. It's like RIP. Dave's office Oh, no, you're Thank good. You're you. good. You can swing over. I can't run. You my did it. Head. Congrats. I know you Thank were very, you. very Thank nervous. You know? No, but honestly, thank God it was so quick. Yeah. What's the situation? Am I, I mean, bleeding? Yeah. I'm bleeding? No. No? no. What? No? I feel like I'm scared to move. You can move, you can breathe. We could dance. No, we can't. <laughs> Isn't that a song? That's a song from the 80s. We can dance if we want to. Leave your worries behind. I Something feel like that. I'm taking it in. Everything happens so fast. I know it's quick, right? Probably when we started to yeah. when we finished was that part was probably under even five minutes. Can I see it? 
Yeah, let's go in the other room. Okay. Reflecting back on my experience, truthfully, I look back, it was a very pleasant, very thorough, very well-organized, well-explained procedure. When you're under the procedure, it's very hard to describe because you're not used to anything being in your eye. There was no sensation of pain. It was just different. It was just a very different sensation that's very hard to pinpoint and describe. Either way, it was a very quick procedure. I think we're done in less than 10 minutes. In terms of the recovery, I tried my best to be very 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 compliant with the eye drops and it actually managed pretty well because I was on night shift so for me I was already up during the night so I would just schedule my eye drops and so the only time I would have to put some alarms is during the day now being on night shift that actually helped me stay away from the Sun because I wasn't even exposed to the Sun except when I drove back home and at that point I was always wearing my sunglasses the most that I ever felt was sensitivity especially if I was straight my eye if I was using my computers for long periods of time so if you aren't straining your eye and you're doing everything that you are told to do I think you are going to do very well from the pictures you probably can estimate or guess the recovery took less than a week on average it might take longer for different people but for me I saw the result and I saw my eye basically go back to its normal state that means no redness no water no irritation nothing like that in a span of one week which is pretty amazing if you think about it and I had a wedding to catch so I remember the biggest thing I had is like oh I hope it recovers before the time I had to travel and it really did my biggest shout out goes to Dr. Brian I'm gonna attach all of the information for you below he is absolutely incredible big thank you to the entire team of his that took care of me I honestly felt super welcome super loved and super attended to and if you do end up visiting him please ask him about his eyeball shaped chocolates which are pretty amazing either way I really hope this video helped you or if it can help someone that you know who's currently struggling or has struggled their entire life with a brown spot in their eye please let them know that there are options available. Get it checked and go to the right person. I'm attaching everything you need below as well as the office and contact information. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.